Steve? Not just Earl, but another name storm is formed as of 5 p.m. in the last five minutes. This is Gaston, a tropical storm. Five days from now, expected to be a hurricane very close to the Leeward Islands. So again this week, we have three name storms in the Atlantic and watching all three. Earl getting much better organized in the last few hours. The winds now 135 miles an hour, making it a Category 4. It was a 3 for a while and moving just to the east of the Bahamas. To give you a perspective of just how close this hurricane has come. Here's a look. A little over 400 miles from the coastline of Florida. This is the current position just to the east of the Bahamas. Very reminiscent of Hurricane Floyd back in 99, although Floyd's eye went right over Abaco with winds at 155 miles an hour. But very uh, similar. And look at how close the outer bands come to Florida all within the Gulf Stream and very close to us. But we miss it here. Back to the graphics to show you what's going on. The latest coordinates. This was a close call for us. We really dodged a bullet. Category 4 headed up toward Cape Hatteras as a 3 on Thursday and then moving up the east coast eventually a landfall in the Canadian Maritimes early Saturday and then washing out into the hurricane graveyard of the North Atlantic. We also have Fiona. Fiona's still trying to get her act together. Winds at 60 miles an hour. The forecast track taking this toward Bermuda on the weekend washing her out. Now the third storm, that's Gaston. Gaston's getting a little bit better organized. This is TD9 earlier today. The wind's at 40 miles an hour. This tracks toward the Caribbean, day four and day five, eventually becoming a hurricane. But all eyes on Earl tonight, and uh, an area that's going to feel a big impact from Earl tomorrow will be uh, North Carolina. 